Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today we are going to learn about the resistance formula. Now, the resistance formula is capital R is equal to rho. Uh, rho is this funny-looking Greek letter, uh, which looks a lot like P, um, times capital L, which stands for the, the length divided by the cross-sectional area. Now, usually, resistors come in the form of a cylinder, so the cross-sectional area uh, for us would be uh, pi r squared. So we have a FET simulation here, and we're going to take a look at how uh, changing these variables affects the, uh, the resistance uh, of a resistor. Okay, so resistivity is um, the row, and that shows us the likelihood that the material is going to prevent a current from flowing through. So if I increase the resistivity, uh, what you notice is that uh, many more black dots are forming. And so what that just means is that the, the material is changing and is becoming more and more resistant. Okay? And so um, notice that as my uh, row increases, my uh, capital R, or my resistance, also increases. Okay? And if my row decreases, my capital R, or my resistance, also decreases. And that's because uh, they are directly uh, related. They're directly proportional because they're on the opposite sides of the equation sign. And it should make sense. You know, if something is more likely to resist a current, the overall resistor will, or the overall resistance should go up. Okay, now um, if we take a look at the formula, we're going to change the length of the resistor next. And so if we take a look at the length of the resistor, it's also in the numerator uh, along with the capital R, the resistance, which is also in the numerator. So if we have two variables in the numerator, if one goes up, the other one has to go up. They're directly proportional or they're, di they're directly related. Okay, and let's see if this holds true. If I increase my length, the resistor or the resistance goes up. If I decrease it, it goes down. Now, this also should make sense because if there's a lot more material that the current has to go through, the resistance has to increase. All right. Now, the the one that might not be as um, uh, common sense is the cross-sectional area. Now, the area variable is in the, the denominator, and because it's in the denominator, resistance is in the numerator, they are inversely proportional, uh, which means that if the denominator increases, the numerator on the other side has to decrease. And if we take a look at the simulation, let's see if this holds true. If we increase the area, the resistor decreases. If we decrease the area, the resistor the resistance increases. All right, now let's think about why this might happen. So if we increase the, the area, the overall resistance goes down, and that should make sense because when the cross-sectional area goes up, it allows for the electrons to, it, to travel more smoothly. Okay. Um, imagine that you are uh, driving in a one-lane highway, okay, and a one-lane highway is a very small area, okay. Um, there's going to be a lot of resistance. There's going to be traffic. But if that one-lane highway opens up to like a twenty-lane highway, wow, like all the cars can flow through easily. Okay, so the, the resistance goes down, the, the likelihood of traffic to occur uh, decreases, okay, which means that the current uh, goes, goes up. All right, so um, I hope you learned a thing or two about resistance and resistivity, uh, and this is for all kinds of resistors. I'll see you later. Bye!